today's video, we're going to take a look at how to create an iPart in Inventor. So over here, you can see I've just created a part. Um, it's got sort of the outer diameter, inner diameter. Um, it's got a couple of holes in a circular pattern. So to make it a little bit easier when I, when I take into a part, in, into, you know, when I create the iPart out of it, I'm just going to go change some of these parameters over here to make it more easy to identify what I'm actually working with. So this is my model parameter, D1 is my OD. Um, then my 17, let's just make this MD, middle diameter. And then my five and a half will be my ID. Okay, and then the six over here is the number of, let's go number of um, holes. Okay, so I'm just gonna work with, with those four parameters over there, even just three of them. Okay, so once that's done, I'm just going to go and just make a note of some of the materials over here. So I've got steel and stainless steel. So I'm just going to use those two and maybe uh, let's do spruce as well. Let's take a look at what spruce looks like. Okay, so it is a, a different color over there. Okay, so I'm going to now go and create my uh, my iPod. So go to my Manage tab and on that, create iPods over here. So it brings up the dialog box over here. And as you can see over here, because I renamed my parameters, it automatically put them in as key columns for that. So the number of holes, the ID, the MD, and the OD. So, and, and that's all taken from, you know, from the history tree that you see over here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select on the first row, click select row, and I'm gonna say, let's make this small. Um, okay, let's make this medium. Okay. And then my last one, I'm gonna make large. And then you can go change your part, part numbers as well. So with this, I'm going to say OD is 30. Let's make the second one over here. It's going to be 36. And then let's make it 42. Uh, you can open this up in Excel as well. And then from there, you can also manipulate from there. So you're more than welcome to do that. So let's make this 17. Let's make it 19 and make it 21. Okay, I'm going to keep all the IDs uh, 5.5. I'm actually going to delete this. Okay, so delete that over there. And for this, I'm going to make it 8, and then I'm going to make it 10. Now, what it hasn't brought in is the the uh, materials. And I just want to put the materials in there as well. So remember, we had stainless steel, we had steel, and we had spruce. So under my properties over here, you can see you can change all of these different uh, properties. I'm going to go to my physical over there, and then let's have the first one as steel. Let's have the second material as stainless steel. And then the third one is spruce, just so we can see the, the color change. Once that's done, we've actually basically created our, our eye parts over there. And I can just click on OK. So while that's thinking, uh, just take a look up in the top left-hand corner in the history browser. You'll see there that it's now put on the table. And you can notice there as well that it has changed the, the material as well over there. OK, so small, medium. So you'll see it'll change the, the size as well. So it's changed the size, it's changed the material there. Just also take a note, if I right click on my circular pattern and just go edit that feature, you'll notice there now it's sitting on eight and not six as in the original one. And then double click on the large um, and you'll see there it will change to um, a larger part. Plus there'll also be 10, 10 holes in that circular pattern over there. Okay, so there we go. That is how easy it is to create an iPod. Thank you very much for watching.